all right so uh, a very good evening to all of you we are here live with uh, shivam who has been uh, with edireka in one of our courses with artificial intelligence and machine learning he has graduated uh, from one of our batches and is working with a very prestigious company right now i would welcome uh, shivam to this call thank you so much for doing this for us and uh, it gives me thank immense so pleasure and it gives me immense confidence to be a part of a conversation like this where we are talking to some enormously uh, successful people who have been a, who have been uh, around with us in this course and um, have made their career and has have, have done some career transition along with the course right and uh, the sole legend of being on this call is to understand your story and to listen it from you and uh, how you made it through all of this and along with so much work so much pressure so so many deliverables to submit right and here you are so thank you so much for doing this shivam uh tell us something about yourself please yeah thank you so much firstly for giving me an opportunity to share my experience with you all uh it's definitely a delight because uh, my experience with edirica has always been good not just around this post graduate but even you know during the other certification courses that i did with edirica so uh talking about myself my name is shivam dat sharma i am currently placed as a data science product owner with insido uh i've been around with insido for a good 9 10 months now uh, i joined them during pandemic uh, mm, uh so to say the kind of job that i you know that i always wanted to do uh so prior to this uh, i would have been working with uh, some of the e-commerce um, big e-commerce names of india like make my trip go ibibo cashify funds and petals i've been working as a technical product manager with all of these companies uh so in total i've had some 6 years of experience i was a software engineering graduate back in 2014 and uh, uh as a post graduate i pursued this uh, program in aiml from nit warangal in collaboration with adirek uh so yeah it's pretty much about myself that's nice that's really nice and um, it's nice to know that you've been uh working for so many companies and you know they they have they have different credits and they have different names in the entire industry we all know about it and uh, good to know that you have been using other services at adirek and it has helped you to continue your learning journey tell me something about your growth plans as an uh, with the current company that you're working are the skills that you've learned along with this post graduation program in artificial intelligence and machine learning has this helped you in your growth plans and has this been able to give you the benchmark that you might have set up for yourself uh to a, to an ex- to a big extent yes uh so this program in aiml was obviously not an easy one while uh, you know while for a lot of students in my batch uh, it would have been a bit of an you know a cake walk but for me especially because while i have i had the technical experience but i was not actively coding per se right in uh, you know in one of those programming languages uh, python or r so for me it was double the effort as compared to the other students uh, Uh, but i'll have to give it to my determination and hard work maybe that i you know sort of passed with uh, bright grades so to say so the excitement around getting into a job was huge and uh, first thing that i ensured is that you know and i'm choosing the right job because i had learned good from this program uh, so i think i i took a while you know to 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 take that decision to choose the right company for myself uh, i had decent amount of offers and why in zero why I chose insido and rather i would also say why see versa why insido also chose these because i think we both were looking for the you know for the right fit at the right time correct yeah uh, i had to bring all of my learning into practice and what i learned from you know the 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 recruiter and from the people from the panel who interviewed me from insido they were working on some really niche products like you know recommendation engine our uh, decision automation etc and that's 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 exactly what i have learned right i okay. i was learning how to automate things using python so my my current job demanded that i'm doing that and the 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 path that i see from here is basically just enhancing my skills uh, from here and that's that's how i planned it right uh, it will be more of an on the job learning uh, as well right along with what i implement what i learned back in my uh, course 
that's that's brilliant so i think true inspiration for all those who still feel that uh, making a switch within the fields is a difficult thing to do i think you have done it and uh, yes of course there is a personal level of determination and the hard work that goes around which is nowhere visible right your certificate doesn't show that your job your packages don't show that but yeah it, it is it is definitely there so yeah congratulations on that but you, uh, yeah. one one thing that i want to understand like on when we when we talk about changing a job right there is also while you do a transition because your skills have upgraded but there is also a personal level decision that one takes right whether i want to move whether this is the right fit for me so what uh you know how how one should look at that right um as in if you if it comes to understanding that if i, I need a job change and these are my skills right how one should map it right what was your experience in that the career transitions is always difficult i'll say while i think i have a very humble experience so far uh, you know i i just come from a 7 to 8 years of working experience uh you know but at the same time i think regardless of what at what stage are you in your career uh, career transitions like i said is a very you know is a very uh, tricky uh, decision why because you have a lot at stake uh so i think how all of it starts is basically that one brave move it's like one fine day you 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 doing your routine job in in your current company and you know you you just you just tired of that monotonous work right it's like maybe you're drawing a good salary at the end of every month but you're not maybe dra- you're drawing a good passion out of your job and that's that's where you know you need to get up from your chair and uh, you know take a walk and figure out what's going wrong and that's what i did i remember uh, you know working for make my trip back in 2019 when i had actually uh, you know felt the urge to get a little more data centric in my experiments right in my in my product uh, management okay. so that's where this uh, you know this idea of idea came i wrote my gre i wrote my ielts i started applying from you know, universities abroad in fact i cracked some of really good universities but it was unfortunate that covid happened and then when i had to settle for you know a, uh, for a, for a course within india uh, that's where i think i got this notification from some of some i think economic times or something that nid were angle starting a program with edureka and nothing could get better than that right it's an online program there was the onset of covid so nothing could get better than this that i'm getting such a good program and it's all like home based learning so i think for me it was i would say that it was somehow you know my pursuit towards this career transition uh, was was also encouraged by the you know by this uh, this pandemic somehow right because we had good time to ourselves right, right. Uh, right. let's let's be honest right i i'm assuming 90% of i, I don't know so it's a makeshift number but i'm sure 90% of us made use of this time right and it was an important time to make use of so i think this career transition uh, i i'll say you know one of the big reasons was also pandemic i gave myself time i had time right and i i i learned new technologies uh i am seeing the results of it right in my current job i'm i'm doing a job that i always wanted to do i was always afraid to apply for it thinking that okay will i be able to invest my time on in it or not so i think how it should work is that you should convert the adverse situations into you know productive and profitable situations right so that's what i did i converted a pandemic like situation into into a good transition yeah, i so think i think you you just you just got the right essence of this uh... extra time but not extra time that we got in the past one yeah. and a half years right uh, yeah. i think all of us did this uh, with our some some skills maybe within our work life or outside our work life we all tried to learn something new right which has helped us of course but you made definitely a very good use of it and we have seen the results so like i i, I can't congratulate you more and I, i don't think i can i can't agree to any of the points that you said which was very great uh last thing what would you want to say to our viewers right people who are seeing people who are aspiring to get a better job you know somebody who is you know trying to get a better compensation maybe a better role maybe a better company right so of course just doing a course won't help right there are a lot of people yeah. who do courses courses are available in abundance but that one thing that will help you at least get to an interview room where you can express yourself yeah. so what is that point for our viewers that you want to say yeah uh, i think i'll say something which i wish something said to me when you know i was in that stage right <laughs> one and a half years back 
uh but having learned it from you know from my experience i'll definitely share it with the audience who's watching this stream right now uh it's i think it's nothing but uh just just taking a brave move that's it it's 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 about it's about uh you know whatever it is it's 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 right now right because we keep we keep thinking we'll get to the right frame of mind some day we'll get into the right situation we'll have enough money to invest and all that jazz but looking at how you know the education is is no more a, a you know first world problem it's it's something which you can fund taking a loan and everything right and in fact courses like what uh, this one was uh, you know it didn't even cost that much that you have to worry about money that much uh, but at the same time i think along with money like i said it's it's also about being brave right it's it's very important right so i want i want the audience to be very brave about this not to worry right because uh what's what's to lose it's like you need to understand that at some point in time you were you planned for the current job as well and you got it right you 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 grabbed that offer so in fact one year down the line you will have in fact some you will have you would have had added one more uh, credit to your salary which would be this post graduate program right and this right. So, there's nothing to lose but to add and in terms of job i personally feel somewhere you know there's no dearth of jobs out there i think it's about uh it's about the you know the right frame of mind you just have to invest time on platforms like linkedin nokia.com there are ample number of jobs they're looking for people like you uh you know so so, th- so my only suggestion is that you know just start right away right so there's no perfect day to start with it's just just start right away correct correct just i think that's that's the start doing research uh, the about phase. these the skills you know that are yeah 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 right 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 brilliant amazing i think um, one of the finest conversations i've ever had with somebody thank you so much once again for doing this and uh, pleasure, we, so we wish you all the very best and we hope to talk and interact more with you right and uh, i wish you all the very best and uh, let's let's hope that all our wishes and dreams and our journey of learning continues thanks a lot yeah thank you so much it was indeed a pleasure to be speaking to you and uh, if you will then just just convey my regards to all the people back in edureka i have some really you know uh, fond memories during the post graduate program the placement coordinators the support system the faculties were just amazing uh, so yeah thanks a lot once again thank you so much for saying that and definitely i'm sure a lot of people will see this so it, it's just going to yeah. be there with them very soon thank you so much right.